Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to talk about body products because you guys ask me a lot about body products, what I'm using on my body. It's just, it doesn't get that exciting because I feel like the body market, there's like a huge gap, a huge opportunity for growth. I have seen more body products lately. Necessaire is the brand that makes the body products that look really good, but I know there's still room for growth in that department. Yeah, anyways, I kind of like keep it simple with the body. I am constantly exploring new ways of how to anti-age the body. I want to use alpha hydroxies on the body. I want to use sunscreen on the body. Body, like more readily it's not available those are not those treatments are not really available in typical everyday body care you normally just have like standard moisturizers for body care and that can be fine but there are certain areas of the body that you definitely need a little extra you need sunscreen for the areas of your body that are exposed to the sun. You also need anti-aging for certain areas that are always exposed to the sun. And then like just in general, like keeping your body like as smooth, glowy, and dewy and hydrated as possible, okay? Anyways, that's my little rant about body care. Um, let's start with body wash. Uh, I am currently, I'm really not picky with body wash. Usually I just get Dove from Amazon. It's like the foam, it's like the already like foaming body wash. You know, you pump it, it's a foam. That one's really good. I like foamy body washes. If it doesn't foam, fuck it, fuck it. It's not gonna work for me. I need foamy body washes. Um, this one is crazy, crazy foamy. And I like the fact that I know this has really good ingredients for restoring the skin, um, restoring the skin barrier, uh, treating sensitive skin, making the skin more hydrated, more strong, more healthy. Um, and I love that it's like a creamy lotion. You know, I told you guys I accidentally used this on my face. And yeah, it doesn't work for the face, but it definitely works for the body. It has shea butter right at the top. It has glycerin, sunflower seed, as niacinamide and it has allotonin, collodial oatmeal, arginine, and I believe it has filaggrin. Is that, am I wrong? Yes, it has filaggrin in it. Filaggrin is the uh, chemical that is usually lacking in people who have skin types that are sensitive, rosacea prone, eczema, that type of skin type is usually lacking filaggrin. So this product having filaggrin in it, I've never seen another product that has it. I've never even heard of it. So that's that. This is a treatment I use in the shower. This is the Revitalift Glycolic Scrub, Brightening Daily Scrub. Um, yeah, technically this is for the face, but I think it's a little too harsh for the face. I've never used it on the face, but, face, but I'm predicting this would be too harsh for the face. But for the body, it's great. I use it on my neck, chest, arms hands and yeah do i see results i don't know i'm really not consistent enough but it's better than nothing you know i like these like i told you those aha products glycolic acid lactic acid to incorporate into a body routine because that's going to increase cell cell renewal um produce collagen make your skin look brighter take away any sunspots fine lines wrinkles and increase hydration in the skin so yeah that's why i like this Oh, let's talk about this. This is the body exfoliator that I'm obsessed with. It's a physical exfoliant. And it's really the only physical exfoliant or scrub that I have used in so long. It is so good. There's three different scents. This one is the lavender. It's like a creamy lavender. I've also used the shea butter. I think those are the two that I normally purchase. They have a pomegranate one. But, um... This, my issue with normal scrubs is that you, they're salt or sugar and you take them out of the tub and then when you try to rub them on your body, the salt, like half of it falls in the tub. This product, like you see how I grabbed the granules, but it's like stuck to my hand. 
This does not fall everywhere. You can be very precise. It's almost like a derm abrasion, microderm abrasion, or something like you're using a tool because you can be so precise because this is so thick and buttery. I think it, the shade, the texture in here is like water, glycerin, hydrated silica. This is very buttery, very, very buttery. So it's my favorite exfoliator that I've ever tried for my body. Well, one of the best ones I've ever tried. Now into moisturizers. This is like my tried and true, my classic bitch my ride or die everyday moisturizer i probably will never stop buying this. this is the cvs dupe for the cerave moisturizing cream in the tub and i am addicted to this i've talked about this many times um no fragrance to it it's literally just the best cream it is a work of art it is gorgeous and stunning and I love it because I put this directly on wet skin and it makes me so soft and I got compliments all the time on how my skin feels and I do notice a huge difference when I use this. I love that it has ceramides, it has niacinamide, uh, let's see what else it has, ceramides, lots of ceramides, petrolatum, cetyl alcohol, what else? It has hyaluronic acid. I thought it had niacinamide, but it doesn't. But it has silicone. It's just such a good cream. It has all, all of the best ingredients for a nice moisturizing thick cream, but it's not greasy at all. You can use this on your face too. Not that I would, I just, I'm not that girl, but you can. Next product, let's talk about the other moisturizing cream. Cetaphil moisturizing cream is a tub, in the tub, presumably like the competitor for this one. I don't know, but Oh my God, this is gorgeous in its own way. Yes, I wish it has had ceramides because I have a special relationship with ceramides, but this has water, glycerin, and petrolatum as the top three ingredients, which is actually rare. I know these ingredients are like, they're, they seem to be like, I don't know, boring or something. Um, I would say that they are everywhere, but they're really not everywhere. But they are some of the most tried and true ingredients that we know of, the most well-studied ingredients for moisturizing the skin and doing what a moisturizer is supposed to do. A moisturizer is supposed to get water in your skin cells. That's the point. So in order to do that, you need to have like, it's like a, it's a, it's a group effort between something that's going to seal in the moisture into your skin, something that's going to actually bring water into the skin, and then something that's going to smooth out the, smooth out the edges of the skin. Okay, so this is a group effort, and that is what this trio up here is. And I have been loving this product. The ingredients are amazing. It's like a thick, it's a little bit thicker. It is a little bit more jelly, and not jelly, but it's a little bit thicker, I think, than the CeraVe. You see how, did you see how the CeraVe was kind of like spilling out, and this stays pretty solid? It's a little bit thicker, I think, but I again put this right on wet skin and it is beautiful, a beautiful experience. Okay, next product. I like keeping perfume lotions around because I think perfume lasts on the body longer when it's in lotion. So I am cur currently using this Flower Bomb lotion by Victor and Rolf and I put this right on wet skin and I definitely like smell it all effing day what I normally do let me see yeah I literally smell it all day I can smell it now so what I normally do is I only use perfume body washes like right on the upper half of my body on the upper half of my body and then use like a moisturizing cream on the lower half because I don't care if I smell like this down on my legs but sometimes I do sometimes I use this on my whole body but this isn't very moisturizing that's the only thing so it's just like it's not like super moisturizing so if I need something richer I'll just split it I'll use this on the top and like a moisturizing cream on the bottom half of my body but either way I love keeping these around they're so good I also mix this one and this one together this is the Cetaphil soothing gel cream this texture is insane it is a creamy gel that's the best way to put it it's a creamy gel and it has allantoin in it this ingredient actually looks really interesting okay it's a keratolytic it has a moisturizing and keratolytic effect 
It increases the water content on the extracellular matrix. I'm reading this from the internet. And it enhanced the desquamation of upper layers of dead skin cells, aka cell turnover. And it increases the smoothness of the skin and permit, promotes cell proliferation and wound healing. It's a soothing anti-irritant and skin protectant. So that sounds amazing. Uh, and I really love this cream. I've been using it for the past like couple weeks and I mixed it like I told you I mixed it with this and wow that was a good combination. This is something I've been using for years actually. This is the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Moisturizer. I told you guys I love perfume body washes. This is the one with shimmer. I don't really like it because the shimmer gets all over but I like keeping one of these vanilla scented moisturizer around because I love that like moisturizing. I love that vanilla smell. The vanilla smell is so incredible. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, I personally just like vanilla and I love the Victoria's Secret vanilla and it lasts all day. Last product. This is one I have been using on my body in the shower because I'm afraid to use it on my face. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha, what is it? Alpha Beta Pore for Perfecting Cleansing Gel. So this is a, a cleanser and it's it smells amazing. It smells like jasmine. I love jasmine. Mandelic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, phytic acid, citric acid, farnesol, I don't know, is that I don't know what that is. Sodium PCA, which is um, kind of like hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, mushroom extract, aloe, jasmine flower, lavender flower, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it looks really good and it actually, it doesn't tingle at all. So I'm assuming it doesn't have really like a hot, really high content of the acids in here, but it is a good mixture of acids and yeah, I like it. It smells effing insane. I just, you know, I wouldn't want to use this on my face for some reason, but who knows, maybe I should try. Mm, oh my God, it's literally so jasmine-y, it's insane. I didn't mention this, but I actually do use sunscreen on my body as well. And actually, both of the sunscreens that I have used recently on the body are, they're, well, all of them, uh, they're Eucerin. I have the Eucerin Daily SPF 15 Protectant, which is a body moisturizer um, that I just ran out of. That's why I forgot about it. And then I use the SPF 30 that's designed for the face. I use that as well now. I use that on my hands, on my neck, on my chest. And I'll insert photos here so you guys can see them. But um, I'm always looking for body moisturizers that already have an SPF in them. Usually they only have SPF 15 in them. I found a couple. But the use one was the one I'm using recently. That one is definitely for the body that one is definitely not moisturizing at all that's why i'm like i liked it for summer but i was kind of over it and um the alba a l b a that brand that's like at whole foods and stuff that also theirs is an, i think it's an spf 30 as well but it's rich and moisturizing and that's another one i've used on my body as well because i like to just do at least like a single coat of sunscreen on my whole body so yeah that's my sunscreen routine that's it that's the body care situation also i forgot to do an outro i guess i think i got distracted because i was like oh let me go get that sunscreen and then i forgot so anyways thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye